All right, this is the beginning of tonight's Corvette video. One thing I wanted to show you is the battery is finally mounted and that is the solution we, we have gone with there because it's really nice to have that top mount that's just gonna make it a little easier. So that's the solution there. We've been fighting the good fight with the doors. Lots and lots of fun. The uh, new latch on this side did not engage very well. So all of this had to come out, which is not very fun. And you know everything has to go through this little hole, including your hand. But anyway, we got this latch out. In fact, I can show what we did. The old latches. Now watch. About that far in is where it starts to engage. So when you look, you can see there's a, a tang in here. And that's when it starts to engage. Once it engages, you can see it pushes this cam out. And then this has got a rod down to open the door. Well, on the aftermarket replacement brand new one, we would be about halfway down before it engaged to that point. And then it would only go eh, like that. So had to take it all back out, modify that. And now we get the range and we also adjusted the other side. That just needed a simple adjustment. We readjusted the rod, you know, which is back in here, and then found this latch was super sticky. So now it works pretty good. Um, and the rags are just, we doused this thing in light penetrating oil. We will clean it all out later, but uh, look how easy that opens now. Just pushing down, no fight, no pulling. So yeah, that had to be done. Um, that's about all we've done so far tonight. He's been putzing on other things. And uh, the alignment shop wants the final wheels on when it goes in for alignment. So we're gonna have to have those mounted. And uh, yeah, we're getting close. And maybe we'll fire her up later I'm not sure well I don't know if anyone's ever mentioned it but uh, that's kind of a nightmare this isn't very fun to get in at all Corvettes are a real pain okay that takes a little doing it's in there it was not fun did not enjoy it literally no one in the world will even appreciate it but us uh, we wound up having to pull quite a bit apart to route the the cable correctly. So, hopefully that works now. You know, everything seems to move. So, okay. We're getting ready to test it all out. Okay, I just hooked up the battery. And now we're going to see what's what here. Oh, hey, look at that. I'm in a seat. That's kind of nice. All right. Okay, you want to start looking for fire? Okay, I hear a fuel pump. Oh, we're going to have to put that back on his clip. Forgot about him. We had him down for troubleshooting at one point. Okay. Everything here looks good. Um, we have fuel. Clock's running. We have no oil pressure, which I don't expect. All right, what happens when we turn the key? Apparently nothing. Okay. What did we mess up? Let me prime it again. Uh, what have we disconnected? Huh. Wonder what that had to relearn. Oh, that smells terrible. 
okay we just did a little more tightening back here it's getting closer and it's gonna take a few heat cycles I think before we can turn that round okay now that she's back down and not all that warm yet let's try another start key on let her boot do a quick kind of check for any any problems I don't see anything hopefully she starts better this time
let's let's get the car working and driving before we worry about that. With the backwoods hood, it's not a biggie. But yeah, alternator's working great. Very happy about that. And I think we finally got our belt squeeze done. There's still a little bit of movement on the power steering to water pump belt. You can see it jump every now and then. Well, maybe you can. It's hard to tell. I can see it. So, a little bit tighter yet, but let's let the belts wear in a little bit before we get too worked up over that. But yeah, it's, it's coming along. So, that's probably going to be the end of everything for the Corvette video tonight. And no, that's not the air cleaner stud. He's just got some paper thread in there. He just uh, painted the air cleaner that we had modified. So he's got that in his paint booth right now. So once that's cured, he's gonna put that back on. Cause I don't know if anybody remembers, we had to modify that like mad to get it to, to clear the sniper. So we're gonna have to come up with a better process for that in the future. Might have to do like we do with the stupid Edelbrock carburetors where you gotta buy one of their air cleaners and then use their base and weld it in. So we'll deal with that. Anyway, getting pretty happy. Okay, and here is one of the rear wheels. You can see they're slightly wide. It just clears the leaf. Although that isn't adjusted, that's all the way down and it won't be when we're done so it will get even more clearance but right now boy it barely clears so yeah there is that and then we knew the e-brake cable was gonna have to move we knew that a long time ago so the e-brake cables will have to move for these wheels but you can see how that looks that's going to be very nice yeah and there's the the tires for those wheels it's gonna look a little different than stock so all right I think that's gonna do it for tonight's Corvette video we got a lot of things that are crazy done I know I always say I'm done but that way in case I am done then I have already got an outro so have a good night hey wasn't very fun and destroyed one of my hands but we now have those moved without pulling the calipers which was a real trick but if you're real careful you can play the game we actually had to pull that side lace it all the way back around to this side to get on the other side here and then run it back out and around and of course while we were doing it this damper spring broke pinched my hands up pretty good so we're seeing what we got it's just to keep this from rattling see that can so that spring keeps it under tension to keep it from rattling. So he's looking around to see what we got. The true final video of the day. You can see how closely we measured this before we ordered this non-returnable custom wheel. You can see there isn't a lot of room. Oh, there's a, there's a mile here. There's almost three quarters of an inch. But look at that. And that might even get a little better when we actually set the real ride height. And now that we've got the parking brake cable moved, you can see there's not a ton of extra room there. We are going to be really close on the rubber, but we're not gonna hit. We're also gonna be very close on the side pipe with the rubber. So yeah, that's how that's gonna look. You know, obviously tucked into the wheel well, but this is at full suspension droop what we've got. You can see there's plenty of room. So yeah, that is going to work. We're very, very happy right now that that's going to work. Because that was going to not be fun otherwise. So, okay, that's the actual end of tonight's video.